to me, there are two types of dumplings, the stuffed dumpling and then just like a spetzel, which is like, you know, you can use in like chicken and dumplings. It's almost a noodle, like a, like a gnocchi. But then there's also a stuffed kind of wonton, ravioli, pierogi, empanada, right? A pierogi is a stuffed dumpling. It's a Polish ravioli of sorts. According to uh, food history, Ukrainian immigrants brought pierogies to North America um, coming to Canada for work. And so, you know, part of Poland and Western Ukraine, that was all the Austro-Hungarian Empire, basically, yeah. is the birth of, uh, of the pierogi. So there are two parts of the pierogi, that the dough and then the filling. So what you want to do is make the filling first. So you boil the potatoes, add the cheddar cheese, we caramelize some onions. This is the most traditional variety, is potato cheddar. And then we will uh, mix the dough and then sheet it out. And you work with your sister? Uh, I do, mm -hmm. yeah. 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 So she's come to rescue me <laughs> from, <laughs> yeah. So she moved down here three years ago this month to come and help me be my kitchen manager, actually. You guys work well together? We do. Yes. Well, yes. <laughs> most yeah, most yeah, of the I time. Know, we used to live together and work together, but now we have our own, you know, yeah. homes. Yeah. I started making pierogies when I was young, and my grandmother, uh, my bubba, taught me how to make pierogies in her kitchen, and uh, they've been my favorite food growing up. And it's peasant food. It's easy to make. I mean, you have flour, you have potatoes, some cheese that you make yourself because originally it was farmer's cheese like potato and cheddar is the Americanized pierogi yeah. but it was a ricotta cheese that you could just strain off the curds and hang for a little bit and then add add to the potatoes so everything was made off the land what we use today is uh, my Bubba's recipe and uh, basically we haven't changed much at all except for we do kind of more exotic varieties now than just potatoes and cheese. So there are like the potato, the pierogi ruski, which people think is a Russian pierogi, is actually not. It's from th this certain area in the Carpathia Mountains in western Ukraine where um, you use potatoes and farmer's cheese. If you're in uh, northern Poland, it'll be more of like a dried meat or like sauerkraut and mushroom and not potato at all. There's a lot of people that will walk by and say, oh, stuffed cabbage roll, oh. You know, a, uh, there's a, um, yeah, they say kapusta a lot because that's cabbage in Polish. So we do like a cabbage and noodles dish, which is very delicious and also very pedestrian. <laughs> I mean, all of this food really is peasant food, but it is comfort food and reminds you of growing up. I mean, pierogi eaters, it's, it sounds so bland, but really it's just, you want that, you want that taste of home, taste of the old country, basically. Everything, even at my store at Finley Market, is all the stuff we eat on Christmas Eve. It's Christmas Eve is the biggest um, day for pierogi eating. They're vegetarian, so on Christmas Eve there are 12 dishes that you eat and they're all vegetarian. But the second would be during Lent. So the churches in Northeast Ohio have pierogi like orders, basically. It's like a fish fry here, but you go and you pick up pierogies and you eat them at home with fish or whatever. And so when you go to the church, <laughs> you pick up the however many dozen and they come in these clear plastic bags and then like when on your way home you just like stick your hand in and eat a couple on the way and <laughs> you know hopefully there's still some for the family when you get back. <laughs>
And what I do, I love is, is now having interaction with customers is like they have their stories of the whole family makes them on Christmas Eve and there's like 20 of us and we make a couple hundred of them and then they all sit and eat like all of, you know, the work. <laughs> and uh, it, it's also, it's been a lot of fun um, making them even with the classes that we do have here, you know, so we're all like making produce together and then it just, it's, it's nice to make food together and then share it and eat it around a big table. Right?